Hello guys, Angela back. Um, I'm bringing you this video recorded in advance, so you will, it should be Wednesday today. So hopefully you're all back into the swing of things at work. Um, today, uh, I thought I would talk to you about another piece of recycled packaging. Um, we're going to have a look at paper bags. Um, so this is again a recycling. I think I got this one from Specsavers. Um, and I thought I'd show you what we could do with this in our junk journals. I'm going to be using um, some papers uh, that I love, which come from my porch prints. And these are um, the wildflowers, uh, which are really pretty. Um, so I thought that we could have a, a try at using some of these. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let's see what we can do with a paper bag and make it all pretty. So the first thing I want to do is take off these handles. So you might have a bag that doesn't have handles, like a lunch bag, um, but this one does have handles. So I'm going to just snip these off so that they don't um, become a problem for what we need to do. So I'm just going into the bag here. Um, I'm going, you see there's a bit of a uh, paper pasted over there. So I'm going down. Um, just below that paper line and I'm just going to snip these off so if you've got handles we would need to do that who knows we might be able to come up with something for the handles all you clever people out there yeah so just this side And there we go so the handles are gone just thinking if i want to put a bit of glue on there just to keep it flat so i'm just going to take this because it's got a nice nib um oops you don't want to get that on the inside of the bag but i don't want it to catch on any of the bits we might want to put in there Uh, the side and the side. I put some more acetone into this glue yesterday because I don't think I put quite enough in the first time. And that looks better. Oops, now I've got it where I said you shouldn't do it which will glue the whole bag together, which is not the aim of the game here. Yeah? Let's get a, our favorite wet wipe out and just wipe that off. Um, that's better. And get that all pressed down. So we've got nothing that's going to... Right, I think that solved that problem. So let's put that somewhere. Right, so we've cut off the handles and now we've set with the bag like that so this is, would be a what do you call these a gusseted bag I think yeah right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover this whole side so I have um, cut out a piece here what I did was and I'll show you with the next piece um, just to cover the entire bag on the side not this side if you're using a gusseted bag which we should be um not that side we're going to do it on the, the complete flat side so let's just stick that right down i'm gonna end up probably sewing along the edges um because that's a it looks pretty and b more importantly it's going to make sure it doesn't um, it keeps everything in place and you'll see why when i get to the end um so let's just match up the corners here oops <laughs> oh i'm sitting in my pjs again lady so if you're in your jammies it's one of those days <laughs> nothing wrong with that All right i'm not worried about the little bit of white i've got there because i have a plan but um right we don't 
want to exceed the opening end too much. All right, so there we go. We've got that done and dusted. That was really quick. So let's have a look at the other side. So remember now to keep that upright. You don't want to be sticking things the wrong way around. So that's the one way. And then on this side, um, oh, let's just fold this in half. Fold it in half, just so that we know where the middle is. And we'll get the lovely bone folder out. Make sure you've matched these nicely. There we go. Hold that. And get that nice and... You can just do the whole bit with the glue and all. Gets it really nice and smooth, especially with the glue stick, because sometimes you get these little bumps, don't you? Little lumps of glue, I should say. Right, so there we have that nicely done. Now we know exactly where the middle is on this side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this as a little tuck. And that's why I say with the stitching at the end, it'll keep it down really nicely. Of course, you could just use glue and stick that down at the end. But um, first, we're going to cover it. So let's do that. Um, I want a piece to go over here. So... Um, Let's find something for that side. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's see. Let me get my act together. Right, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put this bit over here on that side over there, I think. Am I? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm not. I've decided I'm gonna, last minute change, we're gonna have that bit over there. And I think I'll put that bit over there. So we'll get to that. So let's try that. Okay, so again, this is how I sized it up. Um, decide which bits of the picture you want in. So I definitely don't want to lose the top of that. So I think I will just take that amount off there. And I line that up to the edge of the page. Um, and then just take a... A notch to the very end of your paper you don't want to be seeing white paper at all so that's where I'm going to cut across and then for this way um, that's the end there so I'm not actually going to cut off that strip um, yeah well it just means that I need to have a little bit of white there so let's just take it off there, but that's okay. I can overlap. I'll show you what we'll do with that. Right, so let's move these out the way for a minute. Um, put those there. All right, so let's just cut that. Um, again, you can use your scissors. I'm going to use my craft knife um, so I get it straight. You, you don't have to get everything perfect. Um, let's just be open about that. This is however you like it to be. I just like to use a craft knife. So, oh, I cut off my little notch there. That was silly, wasn't it? Let's just get that up. It was there. That's fine. So there we go. And then this side... So is anybody else counting down how long we've got until our next time off? <laughs> I think if it's if you're a teacher like me, then um, I think we're looking at about another seven weeks. But it does fly, and then it's only a midterm break, so it's just I don't I don't get old at all the holidays because I work in a college. Um, I usually take about. Just a few days really so yeah don't get me wrong I love my job but at the moment I'm just enjoying the crafting so that's why I'm sad but when I get back to it um you know in no time then um I'm enjoying myself again you know and then I craft when I get home and it's a nice release so how many of you um, 
craft because it's you know a great release it's like therapy isn't it i think it's therapy you can just escape into your creative world and do whatever you want and you know we all know you there <laughs> yeah sounds a bit like cheers <laughs> remember those programs yeah there's a child a teenager of the 80s um yeah i i did enjoy all of those tv programs and the music all of that good stuff um, it's funny because my children, um, my, I've got a son of 20 and a daughter of 16, um, they enjoy uh, my era's music, especially the rock music. And it's not just my children, because I teach a lot of teenagers, 16 to 19 year olds, they also enjoy the era, that era's music. So it's not just um, my children. So it's quite amazing, really. Right, so there's that one stuck on. Now we need to do the same here. Um, what I thought is, I have a little bit of the writing showing through because I want to put this one underneath. But I do want the picture to show through. So I'm going to just make a little notch over here. Um, and then I'll cut that off first. And then we'll see where we are. Mm, so whenever I hear my kids playing <laughs> like um, Queen and stuff like that, not that he was from the 80s, I mean he was from the 60s, but I mean he made it quite big in the 80s. And then I always say, oh, that's my era of music. And I do love Queen. Right, so we'll hang on to those bits that we aren't using. Let's just see how we want to. I want to just cover that a little bit there. So it's my OCD kicking in. Um, even though it will end up being bound. <laughs> but now I know how far does this go in. Well, we can just measure that like that. So let's go back and just see. Right, we're wanting about. It doesn't have to be that far in, really. If I just do eight centimeters. Um, for my paper bag as long as it's covered by this flap because it will be stitched down so let's just measure there or thereabouts even if I do seven and a half that'll be fine so that's like three inches and seven and a half this side we'll chop that off do you know my, my pet peeve of the day as well has been pedestrians i have found that pedestrians in the night when it's dark seem to have no sense of um what they're doing in the sense that over the, i've come into contact with four particular um pedestrian occasions let's say well occasions where it's been dark because i've been collecting my daughter and um they have just walked into the road um when they shouldn't have um and irresponsibly so in front of moving cars not even though the pedestrian crossing might be right there um and i've nearly knocked one or two of them and then they're really aggrieved when you hoot or something I mean, without looking, and they just expect that people must see them, and in the dark, with dark clothes on, and these weren't, I might add, these are not even children, the, every occasion it's been somebody sort of, you know, adults, adults in their 30s, 40s, 50s, it's just shocking, um, the way people have been behaving lately, and I, I've nearly, you know, it's, it's, sh shakes you up when that sort of thing happens so i don't know if any of you experience that but really um people must need to realize that when they're wearing dark clothes and it's dark you know they're not visible i mean people get knocked down don't they but and that's terrible but um 
I can tell you the poor drivers are really rattled. Um, I nearly hit a, a, a schoolboy in the daytime once because he ran across the road um, taking a chance. I didn't hit him, but um, he just smacked the side of my mirror and I was traumatized. So, you know, if any of you are thinking of um, ladies doing one of these late night run across the road flits, just think of the poor drivers <laughs> as well, please. Use pedestrian crossings. I might add these in every case except one. They were gentle. They were men. They weren't women. But, you know, we're more sensible. But don't tell anybody. Right. I'm going to stick that down there because that's going to go underneath the flap. Right. We're coming along nicely and I'm rambling on about a load of rubbish. Okay, so I quite like that. Just matching up my the bone folder just to make sure it's nicely stuck down okay now all we want to do is cover this bit here which I thought um, I was going to oh, I was going to put this on I think this bit here oh gosh aren't these flowers so pretty now, I really like that flower, so I'm going to measure up here. That side, and then I am going to measure up there. Just in lining it up with this little strip of paper. I hope you can see. Oh, there you can't. Um, so I've measured that up there. And I'm measuring it up with this little bit of paper that's sticking out there. And then I'll see where I am once I cut that off. Um, these papers are so pretty. I do love my porch print. My porch prints. Um, um, I've had these. Um, these are still, I'm sure, in her shop. If you wanted to get them and they have so many uses i've used them for so many things um so yeah it's worth having a look at if you love flowers right so i think that's about how i want it here uh, let's see no you wanted to line that up there like that make a little mark and then again at the top of that paper there right so those are the bits we need to cut off and then that's pretty much covered okay right I hope your new year's going nicely um so far so good <laughs> um have any of you do any of you use a planner um i have been putting one together for myself um and i'm not i just thought i'd get myself a little bit organized organized and focused this year so i'm going to i have been started with putting that together which i might show you one day what you think maybe do one for yourself um so that's the one thing all right that's perfect i'll stick that down um of course you can if you want to um, let's do that here because we wouldn't get the opportunity i suppose we would um if you wanted to you could go around and ink all of this so maybe do that in a bit um, so let's stick that down. That's looking so pretty. So pretty. Right. Let me just put some more of this down. Okay. Um, match it up there. Okay. That looks good. Folder, make 
the matte flat. Right, so there we have it. We've got our base covered here so far. So we've got this little bit there. That looks really nice. Um, and we've got that there. So what I want to do quickly is um, we can stitch around that if you like. Uh, so I think if you are going to stitch this, then just remember to stitch this bit first before you stitch around there. And of course, when you start, um, do that first and then stop and then start again over there and go around like that because this is an opening and we don't want to close that. So I will quickly just try and do some of that if you don't mind. Right, so let's move this back a bit. This isn't going to be easy because we've got a going to do a straight stitch here and see how we go. Might be a little bit awkward and you might have to hold it. There you go. So that gives that a nice finish there. And now, as I said, don't forget, start at the open side and we go right round. All right. So let's just lift the needle. Don't forget to do a double stitch at the beginning just to secure it nicely. Oops. Here for the middle. Careful, all the flaps are in fact lying down before you go over them. Might need to just lift the foot a bit. And watch the back of it as well. Right, me turning. Hold it up. Almost done. Right, job done. So that's definitely going to secure all of that. So off my little strings and over here obviously you can keep them on if you like strings I don't so I'll chop them off right so what we can see here now is everybody oh, that's a bit close is I've stitched around the edges here um, it's now holding our flap in place um, and it's given a nice finished edge as well so that's on both sides so that side, um, we can do something on there. And this side, um, we're going to use a nice flap. And I'm going to put a bit of a few bits and pieces on here as well. So that's where we are. So that's going to make a nice, if you wanted to, um, you can sew down the middle as well, just to secure that. Um, and I might well do that as well. So actually, let me just do that quickly. And then um, let me just see here where the actual middle is so i get it right okay so yeah you see i would do that because otherwise you use a stronger glue in fact i think i should glue that first and um, just so that it doesn't lift this will be in your um if you use something like this three in one or fabric tack one of those um you are guaranteed of it not lifting that I can assure you. 
and but because I just used the press uh, or keep saying press stick the glue stick it's not as um, strong so you know if you just use the Fabri-Tac like that it'll be absolutely fine um, up to you Right, don't go and wipe this off with a wet wipe if you've got glue on here. Rather just let it dry. It's going to be in the middle anyway. Because you wipe all the print off, it'll start um, running. Remember, this is a... You can do that if you use a paper pad, like a designer scrapbook paper. But this has come from an inkjet printer. I don't think that happens with a laser printer, but with an inkjet printer, it does. All right, so... Um, just going to actually I don't think I need to do that now I think that if I let's just check if I close that again now yeah that's going nowhere so I'm quite happy with that now I'm not going to worry with sewing right um at this point if you wanted to and I'm not going to do all of this. Um, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do is just make sure that these over here line up. So, of course, you don't have to do this. This is just me being me. <laughs> so I just like it to match up so it looks nice and neat like that. There we go. Um, and anywhere else that I feel is not quite how I want it. This is optional, you know. It's not going to matter because we've stitched, but I don't want white bits. And this little bit here as well. Right, here we go. That looks better. All finished. All right, so now you can take your ink. And just finish it off ever so lightly. Oh, there's a little there we go. Ladies, here's a little faux pas that I've made that you probably won't have seen, or maybe you have, because you beady eyed. Um, I didn't double stitch these one end of my um, flap here so I'll show you what I'm going to do there of course you can do that both sides but I'm not going to do that all now right um, with the bit with a little flap and I see over here it's starting to unravel just a little idea and you probably know this but anyway is just touch it with a bit of glue fabric a good one for this um, and then just wipe it with your finger and let it dry okay so do that just to make sure that it's not going to unravel that's why I say it's best to put a little uh, back stitch in both of these ends and then you know it's not going to come out all right but that's what you can do if you're not so sure um, that'll dry in a sec and then we won't have a um, a problem with that unraveling right so that's where we are at the moment so what I thought now is is just to do a few things um, the one is I thought I'd put a couple of flowers on here on this end um, you could put little flaps you could put all sorts of things here but what I thought was let's go back to my die cuts um, and put just a couple of bits on here just to embellish it a little bit now um, if any of you have these and you struggle with um, little bits like this that don't come out like sorry uh, oh, this one I got from as a gift from Jackie Chimes thank you Jackie she sent me a couple of those um, and I like that color right so you can either press them out like that or if you have um, they don't often happen, but sometimes the more delicate ones, like uh, I've already done this one, but like that, um, have lots of little bits. 
Um, and if you have one of these tools from Spellbinders, binders, sorry, you can just roller it over that and all those bits will fall out. So if you're wondering how you get over that, that's how you tackle that. So this is a Spellbinders tool called the Tool in One really handy especially with the dies as well when they're filled with papers the little metal dies run this over them and all those bits fall out so if you're wondering instead of standing there trying to press each one out also great when you press through the metal die and the paper hasn't fallen out you just press through one of the holes with a pointy tool and um, it falls out so that is a really handy hint for that if you like me in doing them quite often right so i thought I thought, she said, I would put a little arrangement here. Um, how do I want it? Do I want that there or do I want that there? Um, and hmm, too much overthinking. I think I like the first option, so I think I'm going to go with a bit of that yeah that looks pretty just move it over a little bit bit of blank space so i think i'm going to stick that down there so let's get our glue that one will be last that one will be second and we'll start with that one have you all taken down your christmas trees have you all taken down your uh, lights and decorations outside? I've done the Christmas tree. Well, my daughter did. Thank you, Paigey. Um, but I haven't taken down the lights on the outside of the house. So that will have to be done today. Right, so that's where we're going to stick that one. Full length. We can always cut the ends off at the end. And then I'm trying to think now it's the 12 days of Christmas so uh, when does that end uh, 25 26 31st one two three four I would have thought it would be by the sixth if I'm right I'm not sure now you can tell me but yeah I uh, it's the new year and usually um, I like to take down the Christmas tree uh, on New Year's Eve because I like to start the, near, the year all afresh, you know. What do you guys do with that? I'm going to just put that over there like that. Whoops. Yeah, so what do you guys do about your decorations or do you leave them up longer? What's the sort of feeling on that, everyone? Um, yeah, so I've got that started. And as I said to you, um, I will be trying my best to put out two videos a week. So I'm going to try um, and get one out on a Wednesday. And I think... A Saturday um, that's the plan and what I'm going to do is um, try and do those on the weekends we most part where um, so I will pre um, record them for you mostly where I can whoops that was a bit much um, So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Um, and if there's anything specific you want me to talk about, um, then let me know. Um, I have had a couple of people who wanted to see um, Dina's beautiful reference book that she made for me. I can do a quick flip through of that. Um, let me know if you're interested. Um, I have had a couple of people ask me about various things on a computer like for example how do you print more than one print on a computer how do you make four copies at, 
um, and resize to make four on a sheet. Um, I can do that. Um, I can bring that into uh, one of the other videos when I do that again. So let me know what you think about those. Um, I think I, I want a bit of a quote on here. Um, what do I want to put on there? I've been using these from Amity Bloom called Seeds to Bloom, which I've just printed on parchment paper. So, you know, um, if you want to get these, you can get those on her website. Um, I like that one because these all about flowers and blooming and being your best self which I quite like and it goes with the sort of theme and she's got different themes as well I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Tiffany Julia um, if you haven't put in Tiffany Julia into YouTube and have a look at some of the things she does. Um, also beautiful pastel shades. Um, did I cut that straight? Yeah, that's all right. Um, why I say that is, um, one, she does a lot of um, layouts and things, more in uh, her journal and stuff. Beautiful pastel shades like what I like, but what you may or may not know is every month she um, does a free printable in those pastel shades um and it's free for the month so at the moment she's just put up um on her web page um the one for january and it's absolutely stunning um loads of butterflies and whatever you you have to pay for it if it's after the month that she's used it um so but it is free for the month um that, that she's launched it. So go and have a look at her website, Tiffany Julia. Tell her I sent you. I'm only kidding. Um, makes no difference. Um, there's no benefit or anything. But I just think it's nice to know when you're wanting to save money, um, but also that you want something that's maybe um, pastely or the sort of things that I like. Um, and it's free, ladies. Um, her website, if you want to go straight to her website, is ariellovely.com and I'll perhaps try and remember to put that in the um, description box okay so I'm quite liking how that looks yeah quite liking that um, on the side I think I'm not gonna I was gonna put something there but I quite like the flowers I think what I'm gonna do is let's just have a look I might put lace here and some lace here hmm or lace at the back lace at the back and uh, lace on that side all right so let's have a little go at that right lace <laughs> focus Angela um right so what the way I do it is with this thin tape so this is double-sided tape and um, we'll start with the side um, and we're going to just put that close to the edge as possible um, and move it up to the end and just smooth that down. I don't like messing about with glue for this, but you could if you don't mind that. All right, so um, I'm going to put some cream lace on here and I'm just grabbing one of these. Not that size. You want this size so i just need to find the beginning is that it yeah right so let's just put that over there like that and get the end which i just had oh, here we go right so before i take that off let's just measure here okay you can always trim it off um when we get there, I'm going to do two because I'm going to do one on the other side. And we can put that back. Right. Right. So uh, what we do now is just 
Use your pokey tool, as Tracy calls it, um, or your nail, and just get the end of that up. And then we're going to have a look and see. Um, just want it peeking over. So uh, as you can see, um, I've just got it going over there. And then I'm going to turn it round so that I can see that it's even. Um, and it's just... And you can move it back. Just take your time. If it's not right, you can always redo it, rejig it. Just want to make sure I'm covering. No, I'm not. All right, so what we need to do is make sure we cover this glue. Otherwise, the next page is also going to be sticking down so let's try that again okay it's there so i need to come down as far as that yeah and i can just just so just be very mindful otherwise you're going to have a sticky page and now you can go around and see how far it needs to be so we're just going to be seeing the edge of the lace like that. But we're not going to have anything. Well, that bit went a bit skew. Right, so there we go. So just make sure you've got no sticky bits there. And then just turn that over like that. And chop that off. Okay, so we've got a nice little bit of lace there. Beautiful flowers, like that side. Um, and now we've got this side. So I wanted to put a bit of lace on that end there. So let's do the same there. <clears throat> Try and make it as close as possible to the edge. Close as possible. And chop that off. Okay, right again, use my pokey tool. Pull that off. Again, check for the edge of the, the lace. Like that. Right now, I know where I need to be. Mm. Almost there, like that. Right, there we go. Right, you can just press that down with your bone folder almost done now um, obviously there's lots more that you could do with this um, I was thinking of not that I thought I would put again a couple of these there but then I thought to myself no that's really pretty and probably all I really want it just makes it look quite busy is to put a quote or something on there so I might just do that and I might just use one of my own so you know, you can do whatever you want there. Um, what I thought as well is, um, where's my other page? This page over here. Um, you could also use that as a background and clip something underneath. So let me grab one of my items. So for example, you wanted to put a, a journal card on there. You could. Um, and remember yesterday, or well, yesterday, the last video I did, we made these um, paper clips. Um, you can use something like that. So here's another one I've made. This one has a white flower and a little butterfly. 
um, and we can just slide that on there. Sorry, I need to just grip it properly. <laughs> um, you can just slide that on there like that if that's all you wanted to do. Um, and that just adds some nice um, embellishment as well. And then again, you can just slide something else underneath there. So it could be a journal card. It could be anything really. So if I just grab something else, let's just see. Just for the purposes of grabbing something else, you might just want something small or that doesn't go as brilliantly, but it's just what I had around. You know, you might want to put one of those on. You might want to um, slide something like this on, you know. Whatever it is that you want to, you could. Or you could just leave it like that and have a very pretty decoration. So the choice is yours. So that's what we have so far. So let's just uh, recap here a little bit. We've got a nice decorative page. We've got a nice um, uh, page there as well that's decorative. Um, this side, we have an opening. So you could put in a journal card here. So for example, you could put in something like that in there. Put a tab on it if you are. Yeah. Um, and then this side over here, you could put something in there as well. Yeah, it'll need to be narrow because, um, of course, it's uh, only up to this point, I think. So just make sure it's narrow enough so you can put bits of ephemera in there as well, like that. Now, if we were going to put this into um, an actual signature, um, move this all out of the way. Uh, let's just see, this is the signature that I'm working on. Trying to pick it up <laughs> right so what we could do is along with our toilet rolls that we did that could go really nicely in here all right so let's just make sure that you could see that that could go nicely there so that would go very nicely there look um you could put in your journal cards and goodies over there with a tab on. Um, that side would go really nicely with that over there. Um, and the other side would work really nicely over there. Um, and then again, the back page like that. So that's what I would suggest for all of that. Um, I hope that has helped you to think about what you can do with paper bags. So. Thank you so much, everybody. I so appreciate your support. I know I say that a lot, but I'm without you guys, you know, it wouldn't give me the encouragement and the inspiration to do these things and just share them with you. So thank you so much. Um, as I said, hang on for later on in January. I'm busy making um, something for my uh, giveaway for a thousand subscribers because I can't believe how quickly I got to that. But it's all due to you guys. So thank you so much. Come and join me again um, on the weekend. I will be putting out another video and sharing another great idea with you. Um, so have a lovely um, day um, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye.